everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a while since I've made a video and this video is going to be about how to lead a book club discussion and this is because last Saturday I recently led my very very first book club discussion at the page turners Philippines and the book was a wrinkle in time by Madeline Langle and this book club discussion lasted for an hour or a bit more than an hour it was from 5 p.m to 6 or 6 30. it actually lasted way longer than that because we had so much fun during the discussion questions i mean who doesn't like answering discussion questions right it gives organization to your book club and that is a great thing so prior to joining this book club discussion i had to go through a lot of speaking practice first and i've done that through recitation in school or um through joining more and more book club discussions or at least talking to family and being more how do i say this extroverted so my first pro tip would be to join a book club with people who you are comfortable with because there, there on, things will become easier, the flow would become much better for you. And it would be like talking to a friend, something as simple as that. So here are my tips. Tip number one is to have more than one book club. And the reason for this is because you want to familiarize yourself with how book clubs work and how um, each has, each and every book club has a different structure, a different way of executing the discussion and you want to know which one would be best for you and which one you could take some kind of discussion styles from and incorporate that into your own book club or the book club discussion that you're leading at least. My second tip is to be to read the book twice and this is because i have read a wrinkle in time twice the first time you read it you should read it for fun the second time you read it that's when you get more analytical where you take down notes or the third tip you can take down notes along the way as you read take down notes for your quotes important quotes important scenes what you feel about the certain scenes so you can bring it up with your book club mates so for the process of leading a book club discussion, I started out with making my discussion questions. This is the most important thing because this is what will determine how your book club discussion will be and the outcome of it all. And it leaves um, no space for blank space. It leaves no space for blank space. What? yeah um lesser chances of going blank and not knowing what to say next so these discussion questions for um an hour or so to last you could make five four five or six at least because my book club discussion had five questions and to formulate these questions you have to think deeply what exactly do you want going on or um, what about the book is something to be discussed about that hasn't been apparent yet or you don't really have to overthink it here are my sample questions over here and uh, some of the basic ones are which character do you resonate most with and why what do you think of a certain character or does this thing really connect the entire story and you can also search discussion questions for books online and then you can base your questions on that or even take those questions just cite your sources so for my powerpoint outline here's how it goes first is about the author next is a summary of the book you give a short summary you need to cite your sources here as well if you're making a powerpoint just like how i did i made a powerpoint after starting with the discussion questions and then you make a summary of the characters who they are so people could recall a list of them and you can find those in study websites like spark notes or study something something.com um 
<laughs> yeah, stuff like that. And then you add quotable quotes, and then you'll explain the quotes you chose right after. That's what I did. Um, or you can discuss it together with your book club as well. And then after that, you add reviews from Goodreads or some other website, wherever there are reviews, and you have to add both good and bad ones. So your book club knows what to do and what to think about the book and how it's going to be like because sometimes people join book clubs without actually reading the book. So this would be very helpful for them if they haven't yet so they know whether the book is worth reading or not because sometimes I do that. And then after that, you plug in your pre-made discussion questions which have been posted ahead of time at least on the week itself or a week before the book club discussion and then right after goes the review of the participants so i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope these tips have been helpful on leading book club discussions and thanks for watching till the next video bye Whoa.